Prior to any erection, prepare suitable foundations to resist the loads shown on the RMD quickform drawings. Set out the Megashore Tower grid lines. It is important that the support system is in the correct layout relative to the structure. Lay out Megashore shafts horizontally on the ground, supported by timber blocks. Ensure that the orientation of each section is with the webs all in the same plane. Bolt the shafts end-to-end -end into lengths that can be handled safely using the lifting equipment, and are long enough to create at least one braced lift. Bolt super slim soldier ledgers between pairs of assembled Megashore legs using M16 by 60 bolts and nuts, incorporating a Megashore plate washer to stiffen the connection. Do not tighten the bolts yet. Attach bracing to form a braced frame. In this case, rapid bar tie bracing is being used. The porthole bearings are installed into the appropriate portholes of the super slim members. The first end of the rapid bar tie, cut to the required length, is inserted between the webs of the super slim member and through the porthole bearing, and the rapid bar tie wing nut is installed. The rapid bar tie is then pushed back, and the opposite end is inserted between the webs of the super slim member through the porthole bearing and then fastened with the rapid bar nut. Square and level the frame before tightening the bolts connecting the super slim soldiers. Using this frame as a square and level template, repeat this process to create an identical adjoining frame. Then begin assembling a pair of frames for the next lift, as far as is practical to create all the required frames. Space the frames with timber blocks to ease lifting and allow the jacks to be installed. Set the Megashore jacks to the length required, ensuring both ends are equally extended. With the frames on blocks, bolt the jack and jack plate to the bottom of the assembled base legs. The head assembly can also be pre-installed onto the top lift. One pair at a time, lift the frames into suitable workspaces for the next step of the erection procedure. Starting with the base section of the tower, install the super slim soldier ledgers to connect the two frames together using the same M16 by 60 bolts, nuts and plate washers as before. For now, leave all bolts loose. Working from a suitable platform, lower the adjoining frame onto the soldiers and loosely fasten. Install the rapid bar tie braces between the two frames and then square and level the assembly prior to tightening all bolts. For increased productivity, the various lifts can be pre-assembled in this manner concurrently. Attach the lifting equipment and upend the first frame. Maneuver to the correct location and lower onto the foundations. Depending on the type of foundation and the load in the support, it may be necessary to provide grout under the Megashore brace plate. If grout is shown on the drawing, position the assembled frame on leveled shims. Otherwise, place directly onto the foundation. Check the tower is square, plumb and in the correct position and adjust accordingly. Bolt down jacks and add any tie-down detail shown. Upend and lift the next section of tower onto the previous, bolting the legs together and adding the rapid bar tie braces as each lift progresses. Continue this process until the required height has been reached. Finally, the jack bracing is installed. Connect the Megashore brace couplers to one end of the rapid bar tie braces by threading onto one end. At the other end of the rapid bar tie, connect to the super slim porthole bearing in the super slim ledger. Slip the brace coupler over the central lug of the brace plate and secure with a Megashore pin and clip.